I've got time, so I'm going to show you this other product. I wasn't sure if I was going to, but I will. So this is um, from Redesign with Primer. This is a metallic gilding wax. I also have here, I've got another one. They now come in tubes, but I still have some stock of tins as well. So these are a gilding wax. You can apply them with a brush or with your finger. They're really, really beautiful. They come in all kinds of colors. I have got more arriving this week, but I'm just gonna tip that up so I can actually talk to you. <laughs> um, I've got more arriving this week. They're really beautiful. These dry, and once they dry, and they they will stay in place. Um, you don't have to buff them or anything like that. I like to use just the tip of my finger. So I'm gonna start with this one, and this one is called Brushed Iron. And it's this really beautiful silvery gray. So all you do, you can use a brush, but just like that on your, can you see that color? So just like that, super easy to apply. Get a little bit on your finger. Now I'm gonna take the one that I did the other day, just to show you, because I've been meaning to show you this for ages. So we've got our bell, and all you're gonna do is Tip you down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Oops, getting it everywhere else but where I want it. Just on the detail, I'm just very lightly, and it's not a lot, but what you're gonna do, it's just going to hit those raised edges, and it's just going to add that little bit more definition. And it's going to add a little bit of shine. Now, I've decided to use the brushed iron because I like the grayness of it. And I feel like it's not going to pull away from what I've done. So, see how subtle that is? You could absolutely use a different color. You could go in with the gold. Um, you could go in with the blue, the silver. There's so many colors. I use gilding waxes a lot. Um, I absolutely love using them, but you just, it's just really gentle. It's really gentle, really subtle. And I feel like it really lifts this that little bit more. So I've just done this side. You see that little bit of shine there? Let me turn it. This is the side that I haven't done. See how flat? It's, it's not a lot, it's very subtle but super easy to do. You can use a brush if you want to, but I find, in all honesty, my finger makes it so much easier and you've got so much control. And I just want this really, really light. I don't want to take away all of that white that I've pulled through um, when I've removed the glaze. I just want to add this gently over the top in some spots. Okay, and then this will dry. It's not gonna go anywhere. You don't have to buff it off like other waxes. These top two bits. But it's a fun, easy way to add that little bit more definition and just to give the piece that little bit of lift. Just like that. And I've used next to nothing. Like these little jars last you so long. You can stencil with them as well. Instead of stenciling with paint, you stencil with these. And I've done this side. And that's already starting to dry, so that's not going to go anywhere. Which side have I missed? I've missed this side, so. Is it that side? Yep. Yeah. That's the side that I haven't done. That's the side that I have, and I've done this other one too. So I'll just sort of hold it. I'm just trying to do it. Just, it's just so subtle. You just go really soft. You just run your finger over that detail just a little bit. You're not applying heaps of product. I'm trying to hold it so you can see and trying to see it myself. But you're just doing it really, really gently. up here on these bits 
and you absolutely could apply it to the flat areas too. It's just a really fun little product. It's a nice little bonus. They are, I don't have it written down. Do I have it pressed? Not over there. I can't remember how much they are. I'll be perfectly honest. They're not a lot. They're definitely under 20, I'm pretty sure. Um, but they're really beautiful. I've got more arriving this week, more colors arriving. Um, so I will announce when they arrive as well. There's heaps in the range, but I just wanted to show you that. See how it's just added that little bit of color and that little bit of shine. I don't want these shiny. I want them to look fairly old and um, not perfect, but I just wanted to show you that. So here's the one that we did today. It's just that little bit flat and see, it's just lifted it. It's so subtle, but it's really, really beautiful. All right, so that's it from me. So today we have used, for those who have, I can see there's a few of you who have just joined, we've used Pure Eco Stain and Glaze in the color Midnight to create this beautiful glazed finish over chalk finish, over Pure Eco's chalk finish in the color Cloud was the color of the paint that we used. And then to finish up, we've used um, Primer's Art Alchemy Metallic Wax. And we've used the colour Brushed Iron, uh, which, do I have it? I think I've got it coming. Um, but I've got heaps of other colours. So this one here, this is white gold. So I've got more coming. And once they all arrive, I'm going to do some sample boards as well. But all the photos, I found heaps of photos that I've added to my website. Um, so that you can see samples of what the colors look like. I know it's a little bit hard when you're online, um, but, and I'm a bit the same, I hate buying paint, paint and um, products online, but it is something that we just have to do sometimes. But if you are a local, we are here, we do have the products in store, and as soon as these, the rest of the stock arrives this week, I'm hoping this week, um, I will do some sample boards for in-store as well. So I've got so many sample boards to do right now, but I think it's really important to have them in store. And then I'll take my own photos and pop them up on our socials and on our um, website as well for you. Today's video will be up on my YouTube channel um, so you can easily find it. Again, it will also be linked in to my uh, website on the Stain and Glaze listing. And this very end bit where I applied the wax, I might even chop the video and separate it um, and do, I'll post it up as a second video so that I can put it on this listing to make it really, really easy for you. But super fun product. I hope you guys, I know there's like 300 plus jars just from me. I know other stockers sell them like crazy too. So if you have got some Pure Eco Stain and Glaze, please, please have a go at using it as a glaze. It is an incredible product. It's so easy to use. It's so much fun and it's super effective. Um, that's it from me. Have a wonderful day. I am open today, 10 to one. I am closed tomorrow. My little boy is having his fifth birthday. So as a little perk of being my own boss, I'm taking the day off. Um, but I hope you have an absolute wonderful day. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm always happy to help. Bye, everyone.